For millions of years, the changes in Earth's climate have been driven by forces of nature. But for the last century and a half, Earth's average temperature has been rising faster than any time in the past 10,000 years. The consensus in science is that much of that change has been driven by us. We're on a track to 700 parts per million of carbon dioxide on the planet. We haven't seen that for 50 million years. The signs are everywhere. Droughts in the American Southwest and Africa's Sahel, rising seas in Louisiana and Bangladesh, tropical diseases spreading north, and extremes of weather from Florida to France. The climate is not what it used to be. It's not your grandfather's climate anymore. You know, there are people who still say global warming needn't concern us. If it's happening at all, it's a natural trend. Not much we can do about it. But there's now hard evidence which shows that the warming is not only real, it's accelerating. So we're doing a dangerous thing. We could luck out, or we could have the worst case scenario. People of color and low income people are more affected by climate change than other communities. This is not primarily an economic issue in my mind. This is primarily a moral issue. And to ignore it means putting billions of people at, at risk around the world who are much more vulnerable to the immediate impacts of climate change. It means dishonoring the work of all these generations of men and women who worked so hard to bring us the civilization that we enjoy today. And it really means consigning our children to a future of disintegration. <laughs>